This is your Kinect. This is your Kinect on drugs. Actually, no, my Kinect isn't into all that business. My Kinect is pure. And in addition to being drug-free, my Kinect has largely been games-free, too. The technology's very impressive, but aside from the obvious Dance Central exception, it hasn't proven tremendously applicable to video games, which, you know, it's kind of a problem for a video game accessory. Kinect just hasn't had much of an impact on the industry. That is, yet. I've long maintained that the lesson of this experimental generation is that motion is a nice supplement for traditional controls, but it's not a replacement. Child of Eden, well, this is the first game that makes me question that lesson, and it's also the best Kinect game to date. Of course, Child of Eden makes me question a lot of things. Designed by the same guy who gave us Luminous, Space Channel 5, and the cult classic Rez, Child of Eden comes from the team at Q Entertainment and the visionary mind of Tetsuya Mizuguchi. Pardon my pronunciation, I'm not Kevin. Anyway, it's a surreal trip through technology, evolution, the human psyche, and lots of pretty lights. You know, sometimes the whole, this game could cause an epileptic seizure warning seems a little unnecessary. In this case, it feels necessary. I feel like if I blink, I'll probably black out. If you're familiar with Mizuguchi's prior work, this visual explosion probably isn't much of a surprise, but if you're not, it can be hard to explain what exactly is going on here. So, in simple terms, Child of Eden is an on-rail shooter. From there, simple terms seem a terribly ineffective means of describing this stuff. I mean, you're playing to rescue the conscious recreation of a girl who was born in space hundreds of years ago. And that recreation, that clone, that experiment, it, or she, has been lost in a corrupted web of information formerly known as the Internet and now known as Eden. You're basically purifying corrupted data on a virtual quest to save a virtual princess. You see what I mean about the ineffectiveness of simple terms? This stuff is genuinely ridiculous. Now, the story's only important in that it offers a coherent theme, uh, however coherent it may or may not be, for the aesthetic chaos occurring on your screen. As you can probably tell, that's the major draw of Child of Eden. The music, the visuals, and the themes, they all merge together into this multifaceted celebration of sight and sound. And as you're zapping enemies, or, or cleansing data, or whatever it is you're doing, you're changing that celebration. Child of Eden's greatest asset is its aesthetic experience, and the best thing about it is that the game is confident enough to put you in control of it. It's a really cool feeling to notice the sounds of an exploding enemy actually fit in with the rest of the soundtrack, and it also drives the game's thematic points home. I mean, you're affecting information, and that has audible and visual consequences. There's also a larger message in the very existence of Eden, this corrupted hybrid of the man-made and the natural. This new Eden is a reference to a newer testament, so to speak, a harrowing look at the intersection of discovery and consequence. Biting the apple has turned into blurring the lines between a soul and a motherboard. This new definition of the act of creation is what Child of Eden is all about. The game works brilliantly on Kinect, and although it's far too short, I'm not sure the addition of more levels wouldn't have made it feel tiresome. And as it is, Child of Eden is a great example of what video games can do for art, and what Kinect can do for video games.